I'm going to show you all the steps to build a converting squeeze page within a very short time. So as you can see on the screen, this is the second squeeze page that I've built and I want you guys to have it as well, import it and use it directly. So apart from importing this squeeze page, I will also teach you step by step to build up this page. So as you can see on the screen, if I try to refresh it, it has entrance animations, the background, very nice background and the shape divider. If I go below here, there's some other animations as well. If I go down, there's another background with the shape divider. So I'm going to teach you how to do all this thing together. I want you guys to learn how to build web page with Elementor plugin. So go back to your dashboard. Let's try to view the back end of this squeeze page. So this is the back end. I'm going to teach you how to do all this thing together. So in the description below, there's a link for you to download these squeeze page templates. Go download it right now. And if you want to learn how to import Elementor web page, just go to my another video called Free Sales Page Elementor Plugin Part 4. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to import any kinds of web page that is provided by Elementor. Skip back from here, let's try to build a page immediately. So just go to new, go to page. So let's try to put in the title of the page. Let's say solo ads to I'm going to click edit with Elementor. So this is how it looks like. The way you look at it right now, it has a header, it has a sidebar. So what you need to do, you need to make this page a full width page. It's very simple. Just go down here, go to settings, go to page layout and click on Elementor canvas and you will be creating a page with full width of your website. So before putting in your contents, all you need to do is to put in layouts and columns. So go to this add button, click on three columns layout. So what you're going to put in, let's say you want to put the words slightly to the left hand side. All you have to do is go to here and adjust the column width. You can make it exactly like 30%. How to make this width of this column at let's say 15%, just click here, you will see layout, you will see column width, quickly put 15% and this is 15%. So right now let's put in the title, it's gonna click here, go to heading, put it on top and you can start write your title. So after writing your title, you can adjust the typography. It's pretty simple, go to style, go to typography and you can adjust the uh, size of the font and you can choose any kind of font family. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to simply choose one, let's say this one. Try to adjust the font size to make it nice. And below here, I'm going to put in a uh, description of this title. Go to here again, go to text editor and put it down here. And you can put in the contents. So I've put in the contents. As usual, go to style, go to typography, and you can adjust the size, font family, the weight, transformation, all this kind of thing. You can just, you know, try it for yourself and see how it looks like on the preview. So right now, you need to put in the sign up form. So in order for you to do it, you need to have an email marketing autoresponder. So in my case, I will be using MailPoet version number two. So if you want to know how to create a sign up form using this MailPoet version number two, you can have a look at my videos. You can look at another video of mine, which is to integrate the sign up form onto squeeze page. Inside this video, I will just briefly explain on how to create a sign up form using MailPoet version number 2. I will provide the link at the above. Let's go back to here again. So if you want to put in the sign up form, double click here. If you want to search the widget easily, just type in MailPoet, you'll be you're able to see MailPoet subscription. So click in and drag it below. 
and it will ask you which form that you want to choose so if you have created several forms you're able to see the list so i'm going to choose solo ads campaign for this title of the sign up form i don't want it i just simply delete it there you go you have done a very simple squeeze page so what's the left over is the background let's start to do it so you just move your mouse towards this features over here double click on it you'll be entering edit sections which is this section so just go to style go to background go to classic and this is an image where you can put in so just click on it and you can choose whatever background image that you want so I'm going to choose mine for example this one that's insert media so once it put in you can realize that you actually couldn't uh, scroll down or scroll out so let's try to put in something below here just click here go to here and you can just start to put in some contents below so you can see the uh, scroll effect of the background image so a very simple trick for you guys to learn if you want to duplicate or copy and paste the sections you can do it for example if you want to copy this title just go to here right click click copy and just simply put in any elements and at this edit button over here just right click click paste so you put in the title and you have duplicated so let's go back to this section and we are going to put in a scroll effect so for this image you need to put in the uh, position so I'm going to put center attachment is fixed because we put fixed when you scroll down the background image remain static this is an effect which I wanted repeat definitely no size so basically I would choose cover so I want this thing to be smaller all I have to do is just drag it over here so I can see this uh, iPhone which is pretty aligned with my sign up form and I want to put in some space at the above you can do that simply click edit section and go to advanced and you can add a margin on top for example 50 pixel so you have some space above which won't be very too tight or too squeezy and for this one you can just try it out on the typography font size let's try to make it slightly smaller or you can drag it on here these words are pretty hard to see and the background image is very bright so I'm going to teach you how to adjust the uh, brightness of the background image so just click here at the section go to style and go to background overlay you can click here classic and click on the color and let's choose a darker color for example this one so it's like a uh, color filter of your background image and for this font color you can change it to white color so just double click on it go to style go to text color and make it white color for this case as well double click on it go to style text color and change the white color so you have done you finished almost half of it so if you realize my squeeze page has a uh, divider over here so how am I going to do that just double click on this interface go to divider and put it below here and you can adjust the width of the divider and the width so you can extend it fully and change the color so if you want to duplicate it just right click click copy go to here which you can see the edit button just right click when you click paste you will put it below the sign up form something like this and you can adjust the width for example like this and you can adjust the gap so they won't be too much space between the sign up form and the divider gonna change the weight of this divider so another thing I want to show you guys is on how to put in a shape divider at this background image so simply click here go to style and go to shape divider at the bottom 
click on the bottom because you're editing the bottom shape divider for the type you can choose whatever type they have mountains wave brush this is my favorite curve so I'm gonna stick with wave brush and you can adjust the width the height like this if you want to extend the uh, background image you can do that by putting an element below the shape divider so you can go here go to space sir and put it below here so you're able to extend your background image or there is another method which i recommend i'm going to delete it first so you just click on the shape divider go to advanced at the margin you need to click this off so it's not linked together for the bottom you can put 50 pixel or 70 so the reason why you do that is because whenever people viewing your squeeze page in a tablet or mobile format the spacer elements will disrupt your web page arrangement that's why i recommend you to put in a margin for this divider so if you go to here responsive mode you can click on tablet so basically how it looks like so it does not really affect the uh, viewing performance of your squeeze page and the mobile as well let's go back to desktop so in the later videos which i'm going to upload i'm going to show you how to adjust your squeeze page to be responsive in tablet form and mobile form so right now just get yourself well handy on how to create a very simple title description sign up form and the background image with the shape divider.